Hi, this is Dr. Vijay. Today we are going to study at another important isoenzyme, lactate dehydrogenase. The standard abbreviation for lactate dehydrogenase is LDH. The enzyme commission number for this lactate dehydrogenase is EC11127. This enzyme catalyzes conversion of lactate to pyruvate or pyruvate back to lactate by utilizing a coenzyme derived from water soluble vitamin niacin NAD+. This NAD+ acquires one hydrogen atom and one proton from this lactate eventually this NAD+ converted to NADH plus H plus that is oxidized NAD converted to reduced NAD catalyzed by lactate dehydrogenase. If you carefully observe this reaction, the forward reaction the optimum pH is around 8.8 to 9.8 that means conversion of lactate to pyruvate. Whereas the backward reaction, the optimum pH is around 7.4 to 7.8. That means the reaction of conversion of pyruvate to lactate at physiological pH is favored because this is the optimum pH 7.4 to 7.8. So at given physiological pH, this lactate dehydrogenase favors conversion of pyruvate to lactate in the absence of oxygen or anaerobic glycolysis. This enzyme is widely distributed in our body. It is present in almost all cells of our body. Lactate dehydrogenase enzyme level predominant in heart, kidney, brain, RBC, lungs, skeletal muscles, liver. Apart from this, it is also expressed in pancreas, spleen, other tissues. So this enzyme is widely distributed but present in varying concentrations. Please notice here, this enzyme is present in the RBC. That means any hemolysis affects its estimation. Since this is an isoenzyme, it is made up of four subunits or it is called tetramer whereas creatine kinase is dimer and this enzyme has got five isoenzymes even though it consists of four subunits but it is mainly made up of two types of polypeptide chains the first one is H type or it represents heart the another one is M type or muscle type. These two polypeptide chains or subunits arrange in a tetramer that means in a given isoenzyme of lactate dehydrogenase there are four subunits either H type or M type or both. These two polypeptide chains have their gene or loci in separate chromosome. For example, the M type is usually located in chromosome 11 whereas H type is the loci for the H type is present in chromosome 12. Now these two polypeptide chains arrange in such a way that they will form 5 isoenzymes. So initially the 4 H type of polypeptides combined to form the first isoenzyme of LDH that is LDH1 which is predominantly present in the heart and RBCs. Suppose three H subunits combines with one M subunit again this forms a tetramer this isoenzyme of LDH is called LDH2 again predominantly present in the heart and RBC. If two H subunits and two M subunits combine, it will form LDH3 which is predominantly present in the brain, kidney, spleen, 
are the tissues. 1H subunits and 3M subunits combines to form LDH4, mainly present in the liver, skeletal muscles, lungs, spleen, etc. The last isoenzyme LDH5 comprising of all 4 M type of subunits and mainly expressed by liver and skeletal muscle. Here I have done extensive literature survey and referred many textbook. Even if you refer teach clinical chemistry, again the tissue origin for all these 5 isoenzymes are may be different. Even if you explore high impact factor journal articles, again you will find different tissues. This is mainly because these isoenzymes of lactate dehydrogenase are expressed in almost all cells of our body. But you need to remember the LDH1 and LDH2 are mainly present in the heart and RBC, whereas LDH4 and LDH5 are mainly present in the liver and skeletal muscle. Whereas intermediate type that is LDH3 present in the brain, kidney, spleen, pancreas and other tissues. So here why they have named all 4H subunits as LDH1 and all 4M subunits as LDH5. This name is given that is LDH1 to LDH5 is mainly based on their electrophoretic separation. We can separate these enzymes on an electrophoretic field. Suppose if you take a glass slide and put a agarose gel medium and apply sample here and connect this sample to electrodes that is anode and cathode with appropriate buffer and pH system. Now the isoenzyme present in this serum sample migrate to different band. As we studied in the introductory video isoenzymes, these isoenzymes even though they catalyze same reaction but their amino acid sequence composition are different. So they move, they occupy different position according to their charge, size, amino acid sequence and number of amino acids. So you can see there are five distinct bands of isoenzymes of LDH. The band which moves fastest from the point of application towards the anode is called LDH1. Then comes LDH2, LDH3, LDH4, LDH5. So LDH1 has got all H type of subunits and it is the fastest whereas LDH5 has got 4 M type of subunits and it is the it has got least mobility on an electrophoretic field. Based on their electrophoretic separation they have classified LDH1 to LDH5. What is the reference range for this lactate dehydrogenase in serum? The total LDH level in serum is about 100 to 200 international units per liter. Since it is present inside the RBC, any hemolysis affects its estimation. Its concentration 100 times more inside the RBC than the plasma or serum. Coming to clinical significance, since it is widely distributed, the LDH level elevated in many diseases. Like it is present in the WBC and RBC, so the gross elevation of LDH can be seen in megaloblastic anemia. So not only anemia, many cancers like testicular cancer, lung cancer, even pancreatic tumor or abdominal tumor or cancers, we can see there is elevation of lactate dehydrogenase. The LDH5 is predominantly present in the muscles. So any crush injury or muscle trauma, definitely there will be elevation of LDH5. In olden days, this lactate dehydrogenase is 
a marker for myocardial infarction but nowadays its diagnostic importance as far as myocardial infarction is concerned is going to be less and less as we have a good marker for myocardial infarction that is troponin and creatinine kinase muscular dystrophies that is duchenne muscular dystrophy again this level is elevated liver disease and renal disease the enzyme level is more in normal individuals the level of ldh2 isoenzyme is more when compared to ldh1 so if you take ratio of ldh1 to ldh2 it is always less than 1 in normal circumstances but if you take myocardial infarction so after myocardial infarction the ldh1 level is elevated no doubt both are elevated but the elevation of ldh1 is more when compared to ldh2 so the ratio of ldh1 to ldh2 should be more than 1 so they describe this as a plifft pattern especially in myocardial infarction in myocardial infarction this enzyme elevation starts after 18 to 24 hours and the peak level may be after 2 to 3 days and it will remain in the circulation for about 6 days so that is why this is not an earliest marker and it is a marker for many disorders so nowadays we are not using this ldh for diagnosis of myocardial infarction but you should know what is flipped pattern in case of myocardial infarction as far as ldh enzyme is concerned if there is any gross elevation of ldh5 or ldh4 definitely it suggests some of the liver diseases this is about isoenzymes of lactate dehydrogenase it is mainly made up of two type of polypeptide chains arranged in tetramer that means it is each enzyme comprising of four subunits either h or m or both thanks for watching